Hello friends, today I will discuss about bubble sort. This is very simple sorting algorithm and this works on comparison based model. That means it compare with two adjacent elements and shift larger one to the right side. So here you can see one example, right? So I have I have list of array here. So firstly what it will do, it will compare the two first two adjacent element it will compare. So 5 will compare with 3. If it is greater than, uh, if first element is greater than second element, then it will swap the position. So 5 will come here and 3 will swap its, uh, its position here in place of 5. Again it will check like 5, 5 will, uh, 5 will compare with 8. So 5 is greater than 8? No, it's not the, uh, greater than 8. So it will not swap the position. Again it will just compare, right? 8 is greater than 4? Yes, it is greater than 4. Though in this scenario, it will swap the position. In step 4, again it will compare 8 is greater than 6. Yes, so it will swap the position. So you can see here in the last step, like uh, at end of the first iteration, you, you will find that larger element on the rightmost position. Okay. So second thing is bubble sort algorithms are order of n square in, in terms of time complexity. So basically, we don't go for the larger data set as uh, here we are using two for loops so performance wise it is bit slower okay so i'll just go to the code and i'll uh, so we will just perform this uh, operation until all the values um, have been sorted okay so i'll just go to the code and show you so here i have just defined and declare and define one array of length g one two three four five right so it's length of five okay mm -hmm. and here i am i have written one method a uh, bubble sort array inside that i'm just passing one uh, parameters list of array right so uh, first thing what I'm checking here, I'm just checking a dot length equal to zero or a dot length equal to one. So if zero, uh, that means there is no element in this uh, list, right? So in that scenario, we will just return or if a dot length equal to one, that means um, only one element. So suppose if we have one element here, that means it is already sorted, right? So we need not to perform any operation in that scenario. We will just return back. Okay. Second thing what I have done, I have just taken two for loop. So in first for loop, I'm just taking from zero a dot length minus one. Uh, we all know that array all, uh, always start from index zero, right? So that's the reason I will return a dot length minus one and it will do like I plus plus. And in the second loop, again, it will start from zero, right? So it will take a uh, start from zero and J would be a dot length minus one minus I. So minus I Y have written here. So if you'll see that right after first iteration, the right, the top, top, top element would be at right position, right? So second from second iteration onwards, or we will not uh, check last one, right? So we will just perform till three to six, right? So because it is already at right, right position, that um, biggest element, right? So that's the reason I have written a dot length minus one minus i okay and here this is the method if aj is greater than aj plus one so i'm just uh, writing one swap swap uh, method right so swap logic I, I have written here so suppose like if the a, uh, aj so five is greater than three then what i am doing i will shift five here and three here right so five i will store in the temp variable and then i'll shift position of three three i'll shift here right and after that i'll just reassign back so it's the same logic I have applied here. So the temp, uh, so age value I'm just assigning to the temp variable, and then I'm shifting position by one, right? So I'll just shift uh, age age to age plus one, and again then I'm re reassigning back. So you can see here, right? Five will shift here, and uh, five firstly I'm storing in the temp variable. After that three I'll shift here, and then I'm reassigning back age plus one equal to five. Okay? So same thing I have applied here. And after that, we will just print out the value. So uh, this method we have to call in our main class, right? So for that, I have just created one object here. And uh, this, uh, with help of this, I'm just calling this method object dot bubble sort. And here I'm passing this numbers, right? This list of array. Okay, so I'll just debug and then show you how it is working. So I'll put one breakpoint here as well. Let me start my application. So I'll just um, step over if 10. So here you can see that, right? So we have uh, length is greater than um, zero and one, right? So it will go to the for loop. So it will start from zero index, zero position, and then it will check. Right? So here I'll check that if AJ is greater than J plus one, right? So I can see here, right? Five is greater than four, right? 
so in that scenario it will go inside this if block and it will swap the position so what i will do i'll just store aj value in tim variable right so i'm storing aj value in tim variable after that i'm just uh, shifting aj plus one to the aj right so you can see here so firstly what i have done i have just shifted this position so now four is coming to uh, zero position and again i have to shift five uh, to the first index right so for that i have a store temp variable here right so it will store uh, so i'm just reassigning back this uh, temp variable to aj plus one so now you can see that right so here you can see that four i have shifted here and five i have shifted here okay so it will continue the same uh, operation uh, um, every time right so it will i'll just press on continue here so at end of everything it has been sorted so now it is uh three uh three four five six eight earlier it was uh five four three eight six okay so i can call this method before printing also this object dot print right so here i have written one uh print method which will be print all the value right so same method i can call here so before printing value also i can call that so here what i will do uh, object okay so i'll just write one console dot log console dot write and then uh, before bubble sort before bubble sort and then i'll write one new line okay so console dot right line environment dot new line okay and i will just write the same thing after sorting so here i will write the same thing okay after bubble sort okay and let me write one new line here as well so now i can i will start my application i'll remove the breakpoints so you can see here right uh, before bubble sort it is showing like 535438 and after bubble sort it is showing like 3 4 5 6 8 okay so i hope you got the concept of uh, bubble sort I will see you in next video. Thank you.